All right. Hey, so what's up, guys? All right. So just a quick video for something that's been driving me crazy, and it's basically how to set your own SPI and I squared C pins. Um, so if you're on the Arduino Atmel chips, uh, you don't need this because uh, you need to use the default hardware SPI and I squared C pins. Uh, but on the ESP32s, especially the old ones, we had two sets of um, user usable uh, SPI pins. Um, and with the new S3, uh, hopefully you guys moved to that already, um, you could set any pin to your SPIs or your I squared C, which is great. But uh, I was trying to figure out how to set them manually and it was driving me crazy. Uh, to the point where basically I would only use libraries that let you um, uh, declare the pins uh, in the sketch. Uh, but that kind of limited me. So uh, I was messing around and, okay, so quick answer before you guys uh, double speed on me, make me sound like a chipmunk. Uh, so basically, if you go, if you're on platform IO, um, the file you need is uh, called pins Arduino dot h and uh, if you're on platform io uh, this is how i found this actually because um, uh, i knew these pins were probably set as a constant uh, but i couldn't i didn't know what they were which what they called them or what but i, I was searching around online and i found um, and i found some code that declared some you know the mosi miso pins and things like that uh, and I stuck it in my sketch, and as you know, compilers hate it when you try to redefine constants. So uh, just stick this in your sketch, and if you try to if you try to run a check on it, uh, it is not gonna like it. So and that it this will tell you exactly where um, that file is. Uh, so. Uh, here, this is the file we want. It just pins Arduino, pins underscore Arduino dot H. So you're going to find this in, and sorry, this is on a Mac, but um, uh, you're going to find it under your the root directory of your user. Uh, so in this case, on my Mac here, um, but it's in a hidden file. So on a Mac, you just type, uh, you just hold, you just press Command Shift and period. And that will show um, the hidden files. On Windows, you, ha you have to just reveal all the hidden files. So it is under, uh, for platform IO, it would be under dot platform IO, uh, packages, this framework, um, and then variants. And uh, you'll have a file, with, you'll have a folder with all the types of uh, ESP32. So this is basically the same as uh, if you go in your ID in the Arduino IDE when you choose your board, uh, this basically um, points to sp a specific file and settings that are specific for this board. So that is what is in here. So uh, this is uh, so I'm on the ESP32 S3. And if you go in here, and this, this is the file we need. This this pins Arduino.h. And jackpot, you've got everything here. So these are your SPI pins and then your I squared C. So you could just set them here, and then uh, those will become the defaults in your sketch. Um, so that's all great. Uh, but the problem is, oh, sorry, let me show you where they are if you're just on the Arduino IDE. So that would be, again, under your... Uh, user root directory and if you go to again it's hidden it's in the library and then arduino 15 and then uh, packages uh, and then these are the atmel chips uh, but the esp32 hardware and again variants here and then you could find that again i'm on the esp32 s3 so I could find that pin, that file here. Uh, so you could change that, and that would be great. But the problem is uh, that changes the defaults for that board for everything for your other you know sketches as well. So that could be a bit of a pain uh, trying to juggle all that stuff, especially if you're moving between th projects and then uh, you have to keep changing that file. So that would be annoying. So uh, what I did, I don't know if there's a more elegant way of doing this. I tried, you know, commenting these out um, and then trying to 
declare them in the sketch, but the compiler did not like that at all. So it wanted um, it wanted to know which pins when it you know when it started compiling. So I, I couldn't do that. So uh, what I did is basically uh, I just copied this folder and just changed this just renamed it to I don't know something like so I'll just call it custom pins and I just grabbed that and I stuck it in that folder with the variants and that's where I put this here uh, so then uh, if I open that I can just change the pins and that would be uh, for some specific project uh, but you still need to point to uh, this variant folder and if you're on again if you're on platform io um, if you go into your this platform ini folder um, or file uh, this right here uh, this board um, i actually created a custom board json uh, for my board um, uh, you'll find it in your project folder under boards and um, it's going to be a json file and then you want to choose the one that your INI file, either platform INI file is pointing to. Um, so if you open that up, uh, there will be uh, this one thing to change here. So it's variant. So variant, I just changed. Uh, it was originally pointing towards this, the S3, so I just pointed it to my. Uh, custom folder so you save that and you're good to go so you could make it specific for uh, your for your project uh, as for the arduino ide um yeah this is tricky uh, there is so and i don't want to teach you anything that is not correct but uh basically that uh that json equivalent is basically again under this library arduino 15 but again, on a Mac, um, if you go to Arduino packages, ESP32, this hardware, um, this file is boards.txt. And this basically has all of the boards that are under, uh, that are listed under your boards here. Uh, but honestly, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to uh, muck around with this. Okay, yeah. So I tried changing the variant here, and it was not working. Um, I don't know why. Yeah. So sorry. I don't know how to muck around with this. Um, but at least you know how to change the pins. Uh, if you do know how to change it on the Arduino IDE, um, or actually to make a custom uh, board definition, so you don't. So you could use these sets of SPI pins for specific projects. Uh, leave a note down below and let everybody else know. So, all right, that's it guys. Uh, just easy video, uh, but something that was driving me crazy. I don't know why they don't, uh, I don't know why this isn't documented somewhere. Maybe it is, but I couldn't find it and I spent hours on it. So there you guys go. All right, uh, happy making, catch you later. Oh, and again, if you found this video useful, uh, yeah, like and sub and uh, there'll be more content coming out soon. All right, guys, take care.